Hi, Lies from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video is going to be about believing your vision. This is for people who are coming to the end of their working career and hopefully planning for their retirement. Now, for a lot of people heading towards retirement, they've suffered some big changes in their lives, maybe divorce or bereavement or something like that. And so basically, you've got to believe in your future vision towards what you visualize for your retirement, where it's going to be. And by doing this, being positive towards your retirement years. And it's a whole different mindset. And today we're gonna to go through some various things to believe in your vision. Now we've done another ebook here, Believe in Your Vision. And for those people who want to have a look at the ebook, you can have it for free. As long as you're subscribed to my channel, just send me an email to the bottom here and I'll gladly send you a copy of this ebook. Now it's 23 pages long and it goes into more detail than what this video is going to go into. But I'm going to cover some of the basic principles in this video. And what we're going to discuss here is believe in your vision. Believe that it's possible. Believe you can do it. Believe that your vision is clear. Act on your vision. Help yourself out by using belief boosters, reading positive quotes, case studies, biographies. Make it a part of your daily routine. Integrate your belief into your daily lifestyle. And quick note on the importance of action and manifestation of belief in yourself. Now these are the things that the ebook goes into. So if you want the copy, just send me an email and I'll send you it as quickly as I can. So basically we're going to go through a few things where it says on this ebook the using the laws of attraction. Now you must have heard this saying do good things to others and good things come to you. Well it's the same if you do bad things to others bad things come to you. So if you're living in a negative world it's time to change your ways of thinking and think more positive. I'm always a positive guy, I've always have been a positive guy, my glass is always half full and I just live life in a positive manner. And many bad things have happened to me over my period of life. I've been on this earth for 62 years, been divorced three times, been bankrupt, lost everything, or did I? I've done a couple of videos on that. And I've always recovered from that. Absolutely, no matter what problem there is, there is a solution to it. Now I do a little bit of life coaching in one of my other things that I do whilst living here in Thailand. It keeps me active, it keeps me busy, and I deal with all sorts of things, such as debt, divorce, and um, retirement. And I cover many, many things with regard to that. Now, I used to do this in my early days in the fire brigade. I was a problem solver, and I was a very good problem solver, and I still am a problem solver. There's always a solution to every problem in life. So by having a, a positive attitude into this thing, you can always look at and see that there is light at the end of the tunnel and you can move on from whatever position you're in to a, a better situation than you are in now. So the laws of attraction are real and it does change people's lives for sure. Believing that you can change, this is the key. If you believe you can change your life, then you can do it. Now I'll give you an example. and This is a personal example from me. My spelling, my writing, my grammar isn't great and I've always been told of this all my life and f even from going to school the teachers kept saying to me that my writing wasn't very good and I agree 100% my writing isn't very good but how many times have you heard the terms when the doctors write a prescription the people can't understand the writing that the doctors have done or when the doctors write the notes up I can't understand what the doctors wrote so how come it's okay for a doctor not to write properly? And for me, a normal person, my writing is terrible. I'll give you one more example. I used to be shy and I used to be embarrassed about my writing and now I use this as a positive with regard to helping others out who maybe is in a similar situation. Um, for years and years and years, embarrassed about my writing and my spelling. And then we had a, a Prime Minister Gordon Brown was his name and this is when the, the wars were on and it was the Prime Minister's responsibility to write a handwritten letter to those soldiers' parents whose soldier died in the war. 
that was his duty to be able to write a handwritten letter to the families of the soldiers that were killed and apologise for their deaths. Now, this particular incident was highly pub publicised on TV, that the fact that the Prime Minister made seven spelling mistakes on a very, very important letter going to the family of some deceased soldiers. And this guy was very, very highly educated, went to the best public schools. He was the Prime Minister of the country. And when he was shown up on TV and everywhere, he made the world news with regard to he made these spelling mistakes on a letter going to his family. That changed my view with regard to my bad spelling. If doctors are okay, not writing very good. The Prime Minister, a very, very highly educated man, he makes spelling mistakes and his writing is terrible. So then, I'm not on my own, it's not just me. It doesn't matter who you are, people have problems in their lives, no matter what they are. So everybody can have problems in their lives. It's how you overcome them problems makes you the person that you are. So I used that as my advantage when I was teaching other people. Now I was seconded to the Prince's Trust with regard to teaching young people who were poorly educated and no skills, qualifications or education and trying to move them on to further education or jobs. I could show them my weaknesses so they looked upon me as if, as if, as if say, I'm not this person who knows everything. This person who's trying to teach me something has weaknesses also and I use that as my strength. So that was just one of my weaknesses that you can turn around into a strength. Be positive about things. You're not the only person in the world that has a problem. So, okay, believe that you can change your life. Believe that you can move forward. Believe that you can achieve what you want to achieve in life. Believe that your vision is clear. You can have a vision and you can move forward. You can make plans and preparations on how you're going to achieve that vision. And of course, once you've got that vision, you, you need to act onto that vision. You need to plan how you're going to get to that vision of being able to do what you want to do in retirement. And what you can do, you can help yourself out by using boosters to boost your feeling of how you're going to achieve your visual success. Being around positive people, reading positive quotes, reading good stories instead of looking in the newspaper and watching the news every day where it's full of negativity, full of sadness, full of woe is me. Look at the good things that are happening in the world. Look at the good things that can happen to you if you go forward and you make your own vision. Here was me as a case study. Here I am, a normal, ordinary guy, living in a tropical paradise, Thailand, and I love every minute of being here. And I had to work towards getting to this. I had obstacles in my way, I'd overcome various things. And I grew up in a very, very poor family background. My mother and my father give me good morals and standards and principles and, that, and I've lived by them all my life and I still live by them now. So as a young person, we only ever had one holiday in the whole of my childhood, one holiday for a week. And I thought we were always going to be poor. I never ever thought that, or dreamt that I would be living on the other side of the world when I retired. So you can make things happen, but you've got to have your mindset and you've got to have that vision of being able to move forward with your life and be positive, surround yourself with positive people, stop mixing with negative people who will always bring you down. There will be always negative people who say, ah, oh, you won't do that, you won't do that, you won't do that. Now show them that you can do that. Read a few biographies of people who have started with nothing and ended up multi-millionaires or successful in their lives. I'll use one example, Alan Sugar, a multi-multi-millionaire who started off his life with nothing as a young man selling car aerials. Look at where he is now, a multi-multi-millionaire. Make changing your lifestyle a part of your daily routine. Get up in the morning and be positive and, and move forward and make little steps, little actions that go towards that goal of your future vision. When I had these young students, we used to get them to do a vision board so they could look at what their vision was. And we used to give them magazines, all sorts of magazines. And they used to cut the pictures out and make a vision board. What's a vision board, you're asking? A vision board is like where you would like to live, what you would like to do. Uh, houses, money, cars, etc, etc, etc. And having that vision board, that gives you something to look forward to, that gives you something for your goal setting, that gives you something to aim for. 
Now, all I would say with that is just be realistic. You know, if you're an older person heading towards retirement, be more than realistic with regard to wanting your goals. Since I've, since I've been retired, I've actually wanted less than what I, what I had when I was a young person, trying to live the Mr. Jones's life with the best house, best car, best things that money can buy. I found out when I retired that you don't need all of them things. I live a simplistic lifestyle here on half the amount of money that I used to live on when I was back working with four jobs in the UK. And I'll live a much more happier, healthier lifestyle over here in Thailand than I ever did in the UK. So like I said, if you want this ebook, send me an email on the link below and I'll gladly send you this ebook. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave your comments down below. I'd be grateful for doing that. Subscribe would be nice. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Until the next video, bye for now.